yourself Drill with Phillips bit and flathead screwdriver. Hello and welcome back to DIY Golf Cart. In today's video tutorial, we'll be installing some high quality diamond plate rocker panels on a Club Car DS. Our first step when installing the rocker panels will be to remove this black insert piece. And what you'll need is most likely a flathead screwdriver. What you want to do is you want to get behind there and pull the insert out. Once we remove the insert, our next step will take our stainless steel hardware, which is provided in the kit. And if you notice, there's two, two bolts that had the washers already on them. These washers will be used on the screw that's furthest back of the golf cart. So what we'll do is we'll grab the, the rocker panel here. We'll pop it into place. And as you see, it needs to go underneath here. We'll push it up. Make sure it's secure on there. And then everything's lined up. Once we got the rocker panels intact, our next step will be able to grab a 1 8 drill bit. Although these screws are self-tapping, it just works a lot easier if you drill the holes first. Now we've already gone ahead and drilled these, but what you're going to do is drill the holes out here in the top of the cart all the way through on both sides and then we'll move on to our next step. So once we've got these holes drilled, we'll grab our Phillips bit and then the screws and we'll run them directly through. that side and then this side. Just as we did at the top, we're going to have to do the same for the side of the rocker. So just grab that same drill bit and drill straight through the side. Once we got the hole drilled, next we'll just take the screw and run it straight through. Now you don't want to go in too far because you don't want to protrude so much where you bend the front of the rocker. These spacers work well on the back, but we don't have them provided for the front side. So our next step will just move on to the back. First we're going to drill the hole. Once we got the hole drilled out, our next step will be to take this washer and we're going to have to kind of run it in there and then take the bolt and put it through the washer. And then run the screw through. Once we've got the driver's side done, our next step is just to finish the passenger side. 